Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is March the 23rd, 2020, and last year I did an experiment with growing cucumbers in my greenhouse in hanging baskets and in containers. And um, I was very pleased with the results that I got, so um, I went back and uh, this year I put them back in the hanging baskets and I have some in some containers down here. And these are growing in my containers down here. Now this right here, there's nothing wrong with this. Um, that's actually fertilizer burn. These are sitting on the radiant heated floor. Radiant heat is great for germinating your seeds. Um, but when you start adding your fertilizers, what can happen is most of your fertilizers are slow release but when they get the heat from the floor it makes them release faster and uh, then you wind up with fertilizer burn on them and uh, you can see the cucumber baskets i have about about six cucumber baskets hanging right now um and i have uh three planted containers on the floor and um the variety that i'm growing is the tender green burpless cucumber it is an heirloom variety cucumber and I found it did very well in the greenhouse and um, actually last year if we wouldn't have had them growing in the greenhouse we wouldn't even have gotten a harvest from them um, we love the flavor of these uh, they don't have um, like the little pricks on them they're pretty uh, smooth skin they're great for making pickles because um, the skin is uh, a thinner skin on them and uh, you can see here's another container of these back here. Now, um, I do recommend if you're growing your cucumbers, definitely grow more than one stalk because you want to have enough to pollinate. Like, um, you see this one here. There we go. There's a flower on there. Now, my plants are sinking together. So right now, that's just a, a male flower on that plant there. And some of these... Um, they're a little too small to uh, start flowering yet but um, the tender green burpless cucumber grows very well in containers you can see I did three and uh, this container here and I will put um, a cage in with it then because I uh, want something for them to climb on now one thing I probably will do different um, I'm gonna take the tender reels off of the ones in the hanging baskets and the reason why I'm going to do that is they kind of last year wrapped around some of my other plants. And uh, my other plants were not too appreciative of that. And uh, they also wrapped around um, like the cages. Or, um, they wrapped around the, uh, the wire that I have on my shelves. And uh, it kind of made it really hard to move the vines around. And uh, you're kind of playing a game of find the cucumbers because they were growing actually under the benches because um, the vines just went crazy and um, they went uh, like under the benches and everything else. So you were trying to search for your uh, cucumbers so you could find them to eat them. Now the tender green burpless cucumber, you can eat those when they're small and uh, you can also let them get a little larger. Um, they have a nice sweet flavor to them I've never had a bitter tender green burpless cucumber now I do keep my seeds my uh, soil moist um, I don't really want them to dry out because uh, that can make your cucumbers bitter but even sometimes when these did dry out a little bit I didn't notice a bitterness to them and um, for what I feed these, um, these are being fed with the Eco Scraps 555 All Purpose Plant Food. Um, I have also used the Tomato Tone from Epsoma. Um, I've used that already on them. Um, I have, have done some Epsom salts with them. And uh, I use a product called Sea Magic. And uh, that's an organic fertilizer. I use that twice a week on these. And uh, you can check out the videos I did last year on my channel for how I feed these. I have um, all the, uh, I have everything in there for how I fed them, um, how I started them, transplanted them, all that stuff. 
Now, when I start my cucumbers from seed, um, I tried an experiment this year of starting them in a flat. And the same thing, I soak my seeds in neem oil to uh, help prevent anthracnose and get rid of any kind of uh, soil, uh, any kind of seed-borne disease or fungus. And uh, I went ahead then and I treated my uh, seed starting mix and I treated these containers here when I put these in with the neem oil solution to uh, help get them off to a good start so we didn't have any issues with any type of uh, fungus or disease on them and uh, it worked very well starting them in flats and transplanting them out when they were just real little you don't want to let them get too far advanced before you transplant them because then the roots start to develop and uh, cucumbers don't really like to be transplanted but um, I tried it in a flat just to see what would happen transplanted them out and they did great for me so if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that will tell you when I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!